storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. We gotta, of course, bring Lamar Odom and Chloe Alexandria Kardashian, the alleged Kardashian. It just so happened when I bring up Google, I get all kinds of Chloe's. I get blonde Chloe, brunette Chloe. I get happy Chloe, starving Chloe, medium Chloe, big Chloe. I get Chloe when she was trying to hide the fact that Lamar was banging out prostitutes down from Dallas. I get Chloe when she first started getting on the treadmill when she was living in Dallas, Texas. Meanwhile, her man was out smoking crack with that damn best friend of his that ended up damn dying. Well, crack or heroin, one or the other. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I say all that to say, even look at that picture right there. All right. Well, well let's just sing the song first, right? We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, that Wonder Bread news. We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, huh? We got that Wonder Bread news. That still as news, my first love news, that crackhead news, that anorex news, head too big from shoulders as news, that racial confusion as news. All I like is big dick ass news. We got that wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, uh, we got that wonder bread news. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Lamar out here still being Lamar and still being slow. Talking about if Chloe wanted a baby, all she had to do was call me. And I'm sitting here trying to figure out, Lamar, what in the hell is Chloe going to call you for, for your nut to make a motherfucking baby, Lamar? She hid the fact and faked the whole storyline on a reality show, Lamar and Chloe, or Chloe Lamar, whatever that bullshit was. She faked the whole storyline about not being having about not being able to have a baby because you kept putting that big old rod inside her big old ass. It wasn't none coming out, and you wouldn't understand it because y'all was having sex like 40 going north. Because one thing about a crackhead, they can screw. Even if you rub a little coke on that dick, it stay hard. Y'all didn't hear that from me, though. Y'all didn't hear that from me. So she, so you, so you kept coming in, or coming in, or coming in, or coming in, going, going downstairs, you know, uh, 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 playing the game with, 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 with uh, 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 Rob, you know, nuts still leaking from your dick, you know, they ain't got nothing but a towel on, playing video games, acting like Rob is a stepson while you go bang out his mama upstairs so he can get a damn happy meal. That's a whole story for another low key. Low key, a lot of y'all need to thank y'all mamas. They sucked a lot of D and took a lot of back shots just so your daddy could come around and spend 10 minutes with you and bring your happy ass a happy meal. Mm -hmm. Your daddy didn't want to come see you. I know you're trying to find out where the nigga at now, but just know he never went trying to come see you. He, you, 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 your, your mama called him and he, and he happened to answer and she said, please come by and bring this baby a happy meal. He said, you know what I need? And she said, just, just hurry up. I'm just saying. They might you you keep wondering why you and your siblings got different last names, but you got the same daddy. See, see, your mama was with your daddy when she had you. She wasn't with your daddy when she had your sibling. <laughs> you keep wondering why you got a sibling born after the divorce. Because, like I said, because your mama had to do what she had to do. So your daddy would just would come around and see around your ass. And since that was his baby mama, since that was his ex-wife, since that still was his coochie, he wasn't pulling out and he wasn't using no rubber. I'm telling y'all too much tonight. Anyway, with that being said, you still apparently ain't got no sense, Lamar. Around her time about she can come get some of your nuts. She didn't want your nut then. She didn't want your nut when we thought she was healthy. And she damn sure don't want your nut now. What is she going to create with your nut? A legacy of crackheads? A legacy of drug abuse and drug addiction? I mean, she's already trash. Ain't no white man going to ever want to ever. She at least want her kids to look the same. You know, she don't want to create another Chloe. You know, her damn mammy didn't give a damn about slanging that coochie with no rubber bringing in the baby that don't look like that woman. Chloe is the baby that don't look like that woman. So why she going to go do that damn, that same damn thing that happened to her? This would be the time you'd actually probably would get her ass pregnant because God got a sense of humor. You're offering her everything but the apology that you should. You're offering her everything but what she want. Peace. She want to be through with you. She done with you. Move right along, Lamar. 
Now I can drag on, drag on. Maybe, maybe they tried to have your kid. Maybe they didn't. I don't really know. But what I do know is she kept your ass together when she was with you. She she took you to the den and she was walking around with stank ass breath. I guess since you figured you were seven foot five, couldn't nobody smell that funk coming out your mouth. So you reached down to hug uh, Kim. Kim got a strong sense of smell. And she said, Oh, this nigga got nigga breath. And took you right to the den. It's right on camera. Didn't spare, didn't, didn't, didn't spare, didn't, didn't give a damn. Grown ass on camera talking about I'm 30 some years. I ain't been to the dentist and ever, but you a whole EBA player. But you can go buy crack rock, gamble, and the like, but can't go roll by the dentist. Talking about all I do is sit up and eat candy and candy and candy and candy. We didn't know the meth was rotting out the teeth, too. Grown ass man can't wipe your ass. Grown ass man shitting everywhere, duty stains everywhere. I guess Chloe kept your ass together. Low key, Chloe, that's where you develop that damn OCD, that obsessive cleaning disorder that your motherfucking ass got. We thought you got it from all the anxiety you got from growing up in that family, and that is a trauma response. But what we cannot deny is that when you live with a grown man who can't figure out how to properly wash his ass, I know he wasn't properly cleaning that bath. Oh, I know he wasn't cleaning shit around the house. Oh, I see why you, because you said if you're going to be screwing me and I'll be sucking in your ass because you eat asses. I remember when Tristan got you the pink eye, Chloe, so you get behind up under them balls. You do anything for that man. That's why Tristan's booty always tooted up. Is just to being tooted up. That's where you got all that damn cleaning from. So I ain't even bringing you into my office, Chloe. Ain't no damn helping you. I'm bringing Lamar into my shit so we can figure out where in the hell your brain at, where you left it so you can get it back. We're sending you to intensive therapy. You was looking to you looking for every one of these women to play a certain role in your life, and I want you to stand on those big-ass feet for once in your life. All right? I'm going to bring a mentor into your life to teach you how to wipe your ass. You you. you you, we don't know how to properly wipe, you know, front to back, you know, wipe, fold the toilet tissue wipe. After you're done getting the shower, rinse that ass out, rinse it out, spread some cheeks like you spread some cheeks in the muffins. Because we know you spread some cheeks. So spread the motherfucking cheeks and let that water and let that water pressure hit that ass and rinse all that shit out with your big ass. You too damn big not to be clean. Uh. I'm ready for you to stand on your own feet. Feel like low-key, we got to send your ass to manhood school. All right, leave. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. Come to my office. I'm going to write you a referral, and I'm going to send you to where you need to go. See, BET sent you to College Hill with a bunch of uh, high school dropouts. I'm still trying to figure out how why BET just don't want to go get regular people that's actually in college and not celebrities that can barely read and write. I'm just saying these motherfuckers didn't make it past the 12th grade, but you putting them in whatever it make good TV, I guess. But I'm gonna put you through that training that you really need, Lamar. Feel like we need to put you in a car wash and put that thing and hose that ass out. You too damn grown for that. Ooh. And grown man ass stank. Oh, oh God. I just I can't. Get out of my office, please. I need to, I need to live saw after low key. You might have been the one to start the damn monkey pox with that shit. Anyway, y'all have a good day, both Lamar and Chloe. And we're gonna move right along from that. We're gonna move right along, people. It's storm show. It's storm show.